Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for their, for their children, for the iniquity of their father. The Bible says prepare slaughter for their iniquities, I mean for their, for their children, for their iniquities of their father. So for everybody out here that doesn't think that anybody is going to have to pay for what their forefathers did to blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, I hate to tell you, but the Bible says otherwise. God said, prepare slaughter, prepare slaughter for their children, for the crimes that your forefathers have committed. That's right. Who are some of your forefathers? George Washington, right. who done raped our woman and enslaved us. Honest Abe, Lion Abe, right. Andrew Jackson right. with the Trail of Tears, Thomas Jefferson, raped all the slaves. You understand? Raped all of our black women. You understand? Give me some more. All of the Spaniards, you understand? Listen, check this out right here. Right here, here's your headline right here. Read it from the top. The book of Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21. Prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of his father. For the iniquity of who? Of his father. He's your father's America. That's right. He's your father's America. He's your father's America right here. Read it again. Prepare slaughter. Go ahead. Prepare slaughter. Read it again. For his children. Uh -huh. For the iniquity uh -huh. of their father. For the iniquity of their fathers. This is your forefathers right here, America. Right. The Bible says prepare slaughter. Everybody want to go to ancestry.com. Here's your forefathers right here. You understand who you got on here? Check them out. These are your founding fathers right here. You understand? The Bible say prepare slaughter for the children. You understand? For the iniquities of your forefathers. America, this is your forefathers right here. And they've committed many, many crimes. So we're going to break this down nice and slow for you. Just like debt gets passed down. Well, they didn't pay for it. They got old and died living deliciously. They got old and died living deliciously, fighting in whatever war. And you got born, right? So we're going to break it down to you. You got born, you Google and God born, you done came out the womb, you understand? You're so happy to be on this earth. You done grown up, you're living. If you came from this descendant of people, the Bible says prepare slaughter for you and your children and their children. Why? Because of what they did. Right. They, they, because of what they did. Now you can like it and not like it, but who cares? Right. Who cares what you don't like? Imagine if it happened to you. Imagine if it happened to you. Somebody did something to you and your family and nobody has to pay for it. That's the life that you've got to live. We've had to live a life that somebody can harm our family, take my brother, take my sister, make me homeless, jump from group home to group home, and nobody ever had to pay for it. You understand that nobody's paid for, the, for crack, right? You understand that, that, that that's been happening for years. We've been stuck on crack and heroin, and weed, and cocaine, for years, for generations, and nobody's paid for it. You understand that we've been aborting half a million of our black and Latino babies every year, and nobody's paid for it. What's the, what's the devil name on the abortion? Sir, what's the devil? Uh, Margaret Sanger has never paid for it, so who gonna pay for it? Who gonna pay for it? Somebody got to pay for it. You understand? 70 million black babies are gone. Somebody got to pay for that, man. You understand? That's what the Bible says. It says pay a slaughter, man. Right. Read. Look at Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Go ahead. Prepare a slaughter. Hey, thank you, brother. Grab your flyer, man. Grab your flyer. You understand? Check out the information on the bottom. Go ahead. Prepare a slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, Keep going. that they do not rise. Don't possess the land. And this is what God wants. And God sending back judgment on this earth, he don't want the white man to own another city on this earth. Right. That's what God wants. You're not fit to be in rulership, Mr. White Man. Right. You're not fit to have no city. That's according to the Bible, man. Keep reading. That they do not rise, nor possess the land. God don't want you to rise. You worry about what we saying. We saying what God said. God don't want you to rise. God don't want you to have a city. You understand? Keep reading. 
Nor fill the face of the world with cities. Nor fill the faces of the world with your cities. God don't want you to have no glory, no shine, no streets with your slave master's last names, no schools with your forefathers' names. God don't want it. But the go live got all eyes on me. Give a damn what they talk about, got soldiers ride with me. And they know I'm lethal. I got my reach. Said I was gonna get it. Get it. They ain't gonna see, but they ain't gonna believe. Can't stop, I came now. Hold on, let me get the breakdown. Train to go like a cane now. I'm about to let my light shine. We piped up till the pipe down. These niggas selling pipe dreams. Baby girl, you sweet as ice cream, and I need you better believe. Sit back, look at my cheeks. Why you had to check my demeanor? Competition ain't free. I'm about to take them to the clinic. They gon' get stars to press. Be not start no mess. These niggas pretty, pretty, and I'm not impressed. I have them hold his chest. Like he having heart attacks. Told you I'm hard to death. I know that they see it, but they don't believe. Look at him so misleading. 144, Michigan.